Hello, Jesse. Today is October 26th. It's a Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, and it feels like the middle of the week, if you know what I mean. So, first off, I have a surprise for you. Guess what it is? Did you guess yet? Okay, 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 okay. And... Na -na, na -na, na -na, na -na. What I got it's the book and okay so after you told me all about name of the wind I'm like oh that's a great book I should read it I was talking with some friends last Thursday and he had the book and he brought it up I didn't even say oh my friend has heard about I got really excited and he said I could borrow it and so here I am with Name of the Wind and I get to read all about Quof, 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 whoever and I'm super excited so I'll tell you how it goes and I'll tell you how it, and I'll tell you if I like it because I probably will. So on your last video I loved your thoughts about not limiting yourself. I think that people are always changing and without change there's no growth and when you limit who you are to just a couple parts of you rather than the whole spectrum of what makes you you you're limiting yourself from growth from being the best version of you and who doesn't want to be the best version of themselves so hitchhiking I did a little bit of research on hitchhiking and turns out it's kind of a worldwide thing and in Europe, it's even encouraged. Like, it's kind of a, not a big deal. I think only in America, and maybe Canada, that there are states that allow outlaw hitchhiking. And I also believe that the public perception of like the dangers of hitchhiking are not as bad as the dangers that there actually are. Um, I've only had one experience with hitchhiking, and it wasn't even hitchhiking. There was a poor guy standing at a bus stop in the middle of nowhere, and I was with my parents at the time, and they knew that there was no bus coming that day at all. And so they picked the guy up and took him to where he wanted to go. And that, it's kind of like hitchhiking. It's having a stranger and taking them to where they need to go. So in the long run, I could see myself helping out hitchhikers here and there. I can totally see you helping out hitchhikers, and I can see you hitchhiking. Now, I probably wouldn't hitchhike. I don't think I trust the public that much. But I can see you doing that. So, today being the 26th, it's almost Halloween. And I'm wondering what you are dressing up as for Halloween. Or, if you don't know yet, or if you're not going to any specific event, what was one of your favorite costumes growing up as a kid? For me, I remember going as Pippi Longstocking one year, and I did the whole thing. I had two long braids, and we put a hanger over my head so that my braids stuck out when I walked. It was a lot of fun. That was probably my favorite. Or my next favorite is when I was really little and I had fallen out of a grocery cart and landed on a shelf right here. So I had two black eyes. And for my costume, he made me a painter. So I wore a smock, a little beret, and I had paint all over my face to hide the fact that I had two black eyes. And with that, I'll see you next time.